Alright guys, in today's video um, I'm going to show you guys how to take a logcat file and try to explain a little bit to you the reason for it. Um, what what a logcat is, is it basically just takes like a snapshot of what's going on in the background on your phone. Uh, so you can send it into a developer if he's got and you found an issue in a ROM that he's uh, produced, um, developed, then you can take a logcat file, send it to him and it might help him out troubleshooting the problem. Um, so I'm going to show you guys how to do that. Uh, basically all you got to do in whatever phone it is, this right here is my S3. Um, you need to go into the settings and you need to go to developer options here on the bottom. Now on Jelly Bean, developer options isn't always listed. You have to activate it. So to do that you go to about phone and you go down to build number and you just keep tapping on it about seven to ten times and then your developer options will show up on this screen, on your settings screen. So we're going to go into developer options and you want to turn on USB debugging um, and make sure that is turned on, your developer options are turned on. So this is the first thing you want to do on your device to take a log cat is you need to have uh, USB debugging turned on on your device. So this is a Jelly Bean device but I'm going to show you guys on an older device too here just a sec. So here we've got a good old Droid X old school phone. So same thing, you're going to go into settings but you're not going to find developer settings. What you're going to go to is applications and then you're going to go to development and right up here Android debugging and make sure it's checked. So once you have your Android debugging checked on whatever device you're doing this on, whether it's a tablet or a phone, um, you're going to have to install the drivers for that device on your computer. Um, so Motorola drivers or Samsung drivers on these two devices. So let's go over to my computer now and I'll show you guys what commands to get the phone and how to pull a lock hat off the phone. Okay, so we're over here on the computer. Um, what I'm actually going to give you guys is this file right here. It's um, Android ADB Fast Boot Interface, and you're just gonna. It's going to be a zip file. I'm going to show you how to download it. Um, this is what you're going to use to pull um, to pull a log cat. Basically, if you have any kind of ADB stuff, you should be able to use it to pull a log cat. This is just a file that kind of packages it off for you. And then I'm going to show you. You guys are going to install it once you extract it. You're just going to place it on C drive and it's got a file called ADB. So you'll just, uh, right here, C drive and then ADB and you'll just uh, copy and paste ADB into C drive. Um, that's what's in that zip. So then you're going to see something that looks just like this right here. Minus these two files, these are mine. So you have four files right here. Uh, and then to pull a log hat, all you got to do is in this folder, hold uh, shift on your keyboard then right click and hit open command window here and you're gonna get this command window just like that so from here you got your your drivers installed whether they're Samsung or Motorola if you need drivers I have links on for both of those on my uh, website rootjunkie.com right up here in the top corner so from here you got your phone on and um, right here phones on go ahead and plug it in uh, make sure all of your drivers install correctly on your device and you can just set this down. If you want to make sure your ADB is working correctly, uh, what you're going to do is you're going to type in this command. It's uh, ADB devices and hit enter. And you can already see it has a list of attached devices and this is the device that's attached to my computer. So that means it's seeing my S3. Okay. So then from here so then we're going to type in a d b log cat and then like greater than or less than whichever that is and the name of your log cat and then we're going to call this s3 problem all one word if I can spell correctly dot txt which is a text file and the reason I did that is so if you send this into a developer, you can tell it's for the S3 and then the problem. You may even want to put in here without spaces, maybe the ROM that you're on uh, might be good so you can kind of keep it all straight. And then hit enter. 
and what that has done now is that is right here created this file which is a text document and at this point we can click on it and we can see all kinds of information right here to scroll through and look at and try to help the developer figure out maybe what's going on in the background of your phone um, when it had an error and he can just kind of skim through this and decipher some of this code and figure out what's what's going on uh, so that's basically the, how you make a log hat it should work on any device using uh, this ADB folder that I'm going to guys give you you just got to make sure you have your drivers in and your um, Android debugging turned on on whatever device you're doing it on also so that's it guys that's it like I said these files here and here are mine but it created this file by doing that command so pretty easy hey also if you guys want more ADB and fastboot commands Root Junkie right up here has got a lot of great stuff on that. I have a whole page on ADB and Fastboot setup plus a whole list of commands and stuff you can do from this window right here, um, the command window. So hope you guys like this video. Hope it was informative for you. Now you know how to take a logcat file to send to a developer if he needs one. So hey, please check me out right over here at Root Junkie, or I'm sorry, Root Junkie right here, Facebook and Twitter over there on the side. I uh, hope you guys like it, and we'll catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching.